มื่นไลท์หน้าหนา Hello everyone, I'm Moonlight Nana, and this is my 19th Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope it can help you start off your first step in your digital art journey. In the previous tutorial video, we learned two more snap tools, namely the redial snap and the uh, circle snap. In this Medibank Paint Pro tutorial, we will learn about the snap, uh, about one more snap tool, which is the curve tool. Let's start. Now this is the curve snap icon. Its purpose is to be the guidelines when drawing curved lines. When you click on the uh, curve snap icon, a cross will appear at the mouse cursor as you can see on screen. To use it, determine your line's starting point and click once. You will see a red dot which marks the starting point of the guideline. Notice that the mouse cursor is still a red cross, meaning the process isn't done yet. The next step is to set the second point that will make the curve. Pick a point and then click once. Now you can see that by pulling and moving my mouse, a curved red guideline is created. Keep repeating the process by clicking on different um, points to make the curve that you want. When you are satisfied with how the red guidelines uh, is looking, double click to end the process and you will see that a red box will appear like this. From here, you can draw the curved line based on the red guidelines which you have set. Now let's take a look at this red box. What is the function of this red box? This red box is the additional or extra setting of the red guidelines that you have created. You can move its position elsewhere by click, hold and dragging the red bar up here and then release. You can even place the uh, red box outside of the canv canvas like so. <clears throat> Now, there are a few settings you can find in this red box. The first ones are the small circles outside of this red box. The circle on the right side out here is to change the length of the guidelines. Click and hold this circle and then drag it to the right or to the left until you're satisfied with the length of the guideline. Then, release to lock it in place. The circle under the box is to change the width of the guidelines. Just like you did with the first circle, simply click and hold, then drag the circle up or down to adjust the new guidelines. Then release. As for the circle at the outer corner of the red box, it resizes the guidelines, whether to become bigger or smaller, like so. If you're satisfied with how the new red guideline look, you can release it and then draw it again. As for the next setting, let us look at the three icons at the red boxes bar. The first icon is to rotate the red guideline. Simply click and hold and uh, click and hold your mouse in a round direction to rotate the uh, red guideline. Now you'll notice that by tinkering with this icon, the red guideline is also changed in size, in length, and its width, apart from the rotation. When you're satisfied with how it looks, simply release the mouse, and then the guidelines will stay in place and then you can start to draw again. The next icon is the flip. Let me put it down here. The next icon is the flip upside down. To use it, simply click on this icon once and the red guideline will immediately be turned upside down. To return it to the original, click on the icon again. You can click on it as many times as you want and yeah that's about it 
Now the second icon over here works similarly, only this time the red guidelines is flipped side to side. Make it. They are flipped side to side. Or uh, in other words, it is mirrored. Like so. Very easy to use, right? So I hope you can keep up at this pace. Okay, there are a little bit more to cover about the snap tool. Now let's focus on the red guidelines. <clears throat> Remember the points you click in the beginning of the process. They are these. Um, they become these tiny red dots right now, and all these red dots are the points that were set to produce the curve, which you, which I did just now. You can change the position of these red dots by pressing on the control key on the keyboard while you click and hold any red dot of your choice. Okay, for example, I want to change this one over here. So I I press on the control key on the keyboard and I click and hold the mouse and then I change the position of this um, particular red dot. Like so. So when I am satisfied, with the position, for example, I will do it like this over here. Then I simply release the mouse. And you have a new red guideline, which you can also still draw on. Like so. Alright. Now you already move the position. You can also keep changing other points on the guideline like this. See? And behold, the guidelines are changed. Remember, um, it's always to click, hold, and remember to press the control key on the, the keyboard as well. Alright, so um, finally is the X icon uh, on the corner, uh, at the corner of this red box. So, when you click on this uh, X icon, it will close the red box instantly. But, be warned that once you close this red box, you will have to make the red guideline all over again. If you want to have the same curve snap guideline um, later on, then instead of the X icon, it is better for you to click on the snap off uh, icon up here. Like this. Okay? When I click the snap off icon, the red box just now disappear. Now when I click back on the curve snap icon, the same red guideline will appear again and I can continue where I left off. It's going to be different when I click on the X icon of the red box for it to close. Let's try this out. I'll click on the X icon and the box disappears. Then I want to use this, uh, the curve snap again. But this time, when I click on the curve snap icon just now, the red guideline from before didn't appear. Instead, I have to make a new um, guideline all over again. Okay? So this is the difference between the uh, snap off icon and the X icon of the red box. Please remember, the next time you are about to close the curve, uh, the curve snap red box, to consider whether you still want to you still want the red guideline to appear or not okay right you can also click on the snap setting icon right over here if you want to completely change the whole curve red guideline like so and then simply repeat the whole process again okay so we're done with learning how to use the curve snap now, here's a demo I made to show the practicality of the curve snap. As you can see, uh, I, as you can see here, I have first made a sketch of a hand in red ink. The lines of the sketch is untidy, so I want to draw the hand with clean and smooth lines. Using the curve snap, I set the points of the curve, and then when I am satisfied with the settings of the red guidelines, I start drawing the lines. If the red guidelines need adjustment, I will change the position of the red dots as I see fit. I then repeat the process several more times until the hand is completely drawn and 
So this is one of the ways to use the cosnet in your drawing. You might be wondering, isn't the function of the snap tool, uh, the the curve snap tool, is isn't it the same with the curve shape brush tool? Doesn't the curve shape brush tool also used to draw curved line and can be used to draw the line art from the sketches? Okay, the answer is yes. Both tools can be used for the same purpose. However, there are significant differences. If you use the curve snap, you have many setting options that are useful and you have more freedom or flexibility when changing the red guidelines. As I explained just now, the red guideline of the curve snap can change its size, length, height or width, rotation and can be flipped. On the other hand, the curve shape brush tool, the freedom to change it is limited to only the points of the curvature. As for me, I use both tools in different situations. When I want to draw a curve line that is long without sharp edges, I will use the curve shape brush tool because it is quicker that way. But if I were to draw a curve line that is sharp and tight, I will use the curve snap because the small red dots of the curve snap red guideline enables me to um, set a more detailed curvature. These are my tips on drawing curve lines. Lines, sorry, it is up to you to choose which curve line tool that suits your drawing style the best. Whew, okay, that's concluding this tutorial about the curve snap. Make good use of the curve snap tool in your digital drawing, especially those who draw digitally without using a, draw a drawing tablet and only using the mouse, because the curve snap enables you to draw a smooth and neat curve line. So there is now one last tool to be covered in the next video and after that I will be sharing extra tips of using the snap tool as a whole. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video of Medibank Paint Pro. Please like this video and subscribe to Mundak Nana channel or follow me on Facebook. Together we help each other out in our art journey. Have a blessed day ahead everybody.